What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon BDSP VGC video. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about why I think Scizor is probably the absolute best Pokemon in the entire format. But before we get into that, do me a favor, if you guys enjoy this video at any point in time, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily BDSP VGC content. That's my comment question of the day. Beyond Scizor, if you don't agree with me, what do you think is the best Pokemon in the entire format? Let me know, let's shoot for 200 likes, and also be sure to check out my Discord and my Patreon link down below if you want to check out my teams, get access to bonus content. But let's go ahead and get into it. So, Scizor is a Bug and Steel type, which is a pretty rare typing. I believe only Wormadam and Fortress have that typing as well, uh, which makes it pretty, you know, rare as far as um, a defensive typing goes, you know, because Bug and Steel is actually pretty phenomenal, being only weak to Fire type. Uh, means that Scizor can switch in in quite a few hits, and actually has the stats to back up its um, to back up its uh, notoriety. It's got 70 HP, 130 attack, 100 defense, 55 special attack, 80 special defense, and 65 speed. But where it's most notorious has to be its bullet punch technician combo. So Scizor is very highly used in the format right now. Um, it's at 34% usage according to Peakalytics right now, which I think is kind of on the lower end of what it actually is. I've seen more Scizor than I've seen uh, Arcanine to be honest at this point. And Scizor's rise to power is actually what caused a spike in Arcanine usage beyond what Arcanine usage would have already been uh, seen due to Arcanine just being overall very reliable. Uh, but Scizor itself faces like very, very little competition in the format as far as other bug types and steel types go. And it's also just generally good due to the conditions that it finds itself in. And I'm going to explain that in a second. First of all, we're going to go over other notable bug types in the format and why Scizor just generally fills the role as a bug type better than pretty much all of these other Pokemon. Or at the very least, you can get away with using other Pokemon like these on your team. However, if, if you want like the most reliability, you're going to see Scizor. And for most teams, like you would have to tailor make the team to be able to accommodate these other bug types where Scizor is more of like a, oh hey I need a bug type or I need a steel type just slap it on kind of Pokemon which makes it super super good. So uh, other bug types that you might see Masquerain, Heracross, Parasite, Yon, Mega, Pinsir they all are lacking in one or more departments. Uh, so Masquerain has like a little niche as an Intimidate user, but overall it's like super, super weak to a lot of common Pokemon. Uh, it gets beaten by Arcanine, it gets beaten by Garchomp if it, you know, manages to connect a Rock Slide, it hates T-Tar, it hates facing Togekiss, all of these things beat him. Uh, on top of that, like literally the entire format just beats it down. The only niche it has is probably as a Choice Scarf U-Turner, just cycling Intimidates in and out and maybe picking up a stray KO on a Garchomp with Scarf Ice Beam, but that's literally all it can do. Heracross actually is probably, in my opinion, the next most viable bug type, which is kind of crazy because if you look at Scizor and Heracross, like even like in usage, like where's Scizor? Scizor is at 34% uh, usage, where Heracross is at like 0.23% usage. It's so rare to find another good bug type in this format that you can scroll for a while on Picolytics without finding it. Parasect is pretty high in usage. That's just because it's like the only bug type that fills a particular niche, which we'll talk about in a second. But as far as like overall viability goes, these two are about as close as it gets. And I would say Scissor's like a 10 out of 10 and Heracross is like a six. Basically, Heracross is a pretty decent wall breaker because of Flame Orb and the Guts ability, uh, which will give it a 50% boost in its physical hits, allowing it to come close to one-shotting things like physically defensive Cresselia and deal major damage to everything. You can also outspeed Togekiss, but that's about all it can do. Parasect is literally just the only slow Spore user in the entire game. It also gets access to Rage Powder, and on like Trick Room teams or even on Rain teams, it's pretty good because of Dry Skin and the fact that it's super slow and is able to, you know, spread Spore all, all at once. Yon Mega's pretty decent. It's got really good speed and special attack. Um, it's lacking on the special defensive side, but on the physical defensive side, it's pretty fine. It just doesn't like taking a Rock Sled. Um, you know, random speed boost hypnosis if you get lucky is actually pretty good, and it doesn't need to run that much speed because of speed boost making it faster. Um, after hitting 134, you can actually go ahead and uh, at plus one uh, outspeed pretty much everything in the format. And finally, Pinsir. I, I suppose you could run either Moxie or Hyper Cutter and just go with like Focus Sash Sword Dance, and that's like it. Like other bug types in this format are really hard to justify using. Like if you type in bug type, 
Uh, you can actually go through the list. Ariados, Trash, Armaldo, Trash, Beautifly. I wish they would remove it. It's that bad. Butterfree? Yeah, kind of. Fortress, only really good in singles. Like everything beyond this thing, and I suppose Shuckle and Shedinja, which have very niche roles, just don't work in the format very well. You can get away with it. I'm a big advocate for using your favorites if you like can find a way to use them effectively. But overall, it's very hard to find a bug type that works on most teams better than Scizor. It just overall fits that role really well. Beyond that, if we get into steel types it's in competition with, the, the, the competition's a little bit closer. Uh, however, the role compression of having a physical steel type with bug coverage is what puts Scizor above everything else, really. Bronzong is a completely different role. It's literally the only thing they have in common is that it's a steel type. Uh, Bronzong mostly is just a Trick Room Pokemon. Metagross is probably the closest thing we have to Scizor competition since it has a higher attack stat and access to Bullet Punch. However, guess what? Scizor's Bullet Punch is stronger because of Technician. Uh, this thing's also faster, and I suppose we could see this thing getting more usage, but since Weakness Policy is no longer available, it's actually seen a significant drop in usage, but I do think it's actually really good and should see um, a little bit more. Uh, losing access to Ice Punch was actually also really big, so yeah. Uh, and Psychic Coverage isn't that important for most teams, so really you're getting a Steel type out of this, where with Scissor you get a bug in a Steel type with better defensive, uh, with a better defensive typing and uh, better offensive coverage. Magnezone, not even comparable, literally just an Electric type uh, with Steel weaknesses really. Like yeah, Flash Cannon's good for hitting like Togekiss, but you're already hitting with um, Thunderbolt, which is stronger anyways. Lucario, kind of comparable. It's faster, but it's also frailer, and it it doesn't hit quite as hard. 110 attack, 115 special attack. If you want a fighting type, I suppose you could go with like an inner focus version. Registeel, hardly comparable. This thing's just a defensive Pokemon. And Probopass. Well, I just wanted to put Probopass in there because he looks cool. But yeah, like as you can see, on the bug and steel sides, Scizor faces very, very little competition. Something that isn't helping Scizor running rampant, you know, something that isn't helping us fight against Scizor is the lack of really reliable checks to it in the form of fire types. Like, it's it's hard enough to fit a fire type on your team that isn't Arcanine. As you can see, like, right now Arcanine is at, like, number three in usage, number four in usage, um, where the next highest use fire type is Heatran, and then beyond there, it's kind of hard to fit a fire type in your team. Uh, the next most used one is Infernape, which honestly I think Rotom Heat's a lot better than Infernape right now. Uh, but basically, Arcanine has a monopoly on fire type usage right now. Like, it's an Intimidate user, it's got access to Will O Wisp, it's got access to important tools like Snarl. Um, you could even run Extreme Speed if you want, you could even run Safeguard if you really wanted to. Will O Wisp is also really big. Like, it has all these different moves. And its best way of hitting Scizor is with its Stab Flare Blitz or Stab Heat Wave, I suppose. Which makes it like one of the best Scizor checks. If your team's weak to Scizor, if you have like a Garchomp, if you have a if you have a Togekiss on your team, you have like a Cresselia, put an Arcanine on there. It's a good way of checking Scizor because you can intimidate it, you can lower its attack set, and you hard wall scissor stabs. That's huge. Arcanine has no issue, but keep in mind Arcanine is like the only Pokemon that you know, beyond Heatran, that you can like kind of fit onto most teams and have it do its job. Heatran I've gotten opinions from a couple of friends in the community, and I share this opinion. Joe thinks it's trash. I'm pretty sure Brady thinks it's trash. Heatran is very overrated right now. Um, it has a reputation for being a great fire type because of previous formats. It was great in um, 2016 or 2015. It was great in 2018. It wasn't as good in um, Series 7 and other Dynamax formats. Like, it wasn't that good in, in those formats, but, like, in VGC formats similar to what we're playing right now, it was really good. However, now, with, like, how many good water types there are, how good rain is, um, how Arcanine kind of just walls it, how just Garchomp destroys it, how Mamoswine destroys it, like, there isn't much of a reason to run a Heatran on your team beyond, like, hey, it's like the only Pokemon that fits this really particular niche I'm trying to put onto my team. Like I need a Steel type, I need a Fire type. Pretty much if you're just like losing the Togekiss 100% of the time and you need some kind of Band-Aid, Heatran works, I suppose. But yeah, like it, it's it's just not a great Fire type overall to fit. And the rest of these just, it, they get mediocre really quick. Moltres, the fact that we're talking about Moltres is sad. 
Um, it's actually a really good scissor check. However, it doesn't fit on a lot of teams. It's very hard to justify using a Moltres in this format. Ninetales, Sun isn't that great. Hard to use Ninetales in the format. Torkoal, Venucoal got a significant nerf when Venusaur lost access to Earth Power and Weather Ball, so Venucoal is kind of dead, and thus Torkoal isn't as common unless you're seeing Hard Trick Room. And Rotom Heat is probably like the next most viable Pokemon beyond, I would say it's better than Heatran actually. And yeah, it's a really good check to scissor, but it's pretty low HP stat comboed with only decent bulk. Um, it means that like, yeah, if, if you take any chip damage, you actually might get picked off by a plus two bullet punch. So yeah, like you can check scissor, but once again, hard to fit onto a team. Our lack of good fire types makes scissor even better. And here's the thing, even if you do have a good fire type in your team, guess what is arguably one of the best archetypes in the format? It's rain. What does rain do? It halves the damage of fire moves, thus making scissor better, because guess what? Let's just get rid of, uh, I guess we'll get rid of this thing right here. Put a scissor onto this team. Oh, look at that. <laughs> we have two checks for scissor's best counter, which is Arcanine. Uh, Ludicolo is able to outspeed a majority of the format and hit it with a powerful Hydro Pump or a Scald in the rain. Pelipper is able to set up Tailwinds, go for Scald, go for Hurricanes, deal with a lot of things that would otherwise check Scizor. And even if you're like facing, um, even if like, you know, you manage to deal with like the fire type on their team and they have some kind of like backup Pokemon, like for example, a lot of, um, a lot of Tokus are actually running Flamethrower right now as a way to somewhat deal with Scizor. We can actually run this calc right now. If we go into the damage calc and we get a Scizor, right? We get a Scizor versus this Tokus. Just go with that, just 252, 252. If we are in the rain and this Tokus just happens to be running, we'll even go Modest, right? Modest, Flamethrower. It doesn't pick up the KO, like ever. And then you just get picked off by bullet punch because like a lot of the time they'll they'll bulk this thing out so that at minus one they can actually take the bullet punch hit so like you know they can easily take one bullet punch they don't take two right that's the thing if if you have rain up even with like teched on unexpected fire moves it's hard to beat scissor like scissor is good by virtue of its lack of competition and lack of checks which i guess is how you make a great pokemon but yeah like if you look at what's popular in the format right now um, if we go to Battle Festival Doubles, Cresselia, beaten by Scizor. Tokus, beaten by Scizor. Garchomp, if you get a Sora's Dance off, beaten by Scizor. Arcanine's the only legitimate check. Scizor goes even versus Scizor. <laughs> Tyranitar gets beaten. Rotom Wash goes kind of even, unless, you know, Swords Dance up, then you get picked off by X-Scizor. Heatran is a check. Breloom gets beaten. Ludicolo even gets beaten. Like, it probably can't pick up a KO if Scizor has enough uh, bulk invested. Hariyama doesn't take hits comfortably. Politoed kind of gets beaten, Gastron gets beaten, Latios definitely gets beaten. Hitmontop actually goes pretty even versus it, but like the majority of the format can't take a hit from Scizor. And this isn't really an issue with Scizor, it's an issue with the format. Um, the thing is, I think Scizor rose to prominence mostly because at the beginning of the format, no one knew how to beat Cresselia. And then in trying to, or you know, people knew how to beat Cresselia, but people didn't know how to team build to uh, reliably beat Cresselia. Uh, but now that we're further in the format, people experimented with Scizor and went, hey, wait a minute, this thing has like no checks. <laughs> um, and now we just see like Scizor Mania, like Scizor is running all over the place. Obviously we can adapt to beat Scizor. Some of my more recent teams, which I don't even know if this these will be, you know, uploaded, you know, by the time I upload this, have a lot of ways of beating Scizor. Obviously you can just bulk the hell out of your team. You can run like a bulky electric type, your own Scizor. You can run a Milotic and then it's like a lot harder for a Scizor to get going. You can run Gyarados, which just, I, I would argue outright beats Scissor because of the initial Intimidate. Hit him on top next to that. Entei is actually really good, and I feel like people are really sleeping on it because you can't Intimidate it. Entei is a great Scissor check. Like, there are a lot of ways to beat Scissor, and the format, in the end, is going to adapt to Scissor being so dominant. Um, but as of right now, I, I would advise you guys to uh, prepare for, I don't know, Scissor 20XX or whatever we're calling it. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to talk about why Scissor is actually just so busted and why it's probably the best Pokemon in the format right now. But if you guys enjoyed this standpoint in time or learned anything new, do me a favor, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.